The one thing I don't respect is that if you hold up a sign, everyone is going through our sign, and I totally understand that. And it's your choice if you want to hold up a sign and promote that you're in a situation. But don't go up to the cars and purposely go up to their window to wave and put your hand out. That's just crazy. Like she's going up to every single person. This is crazy. I more than anyone understand hard times. You know, at one point in my life, I was living in a car. And before I was living in the car, I was living in a tent. And I worked my ass off to get that money for the car. And I lived in the car so I could go to work every day. Then I got into an apartment. You know, I totally understand that because of the quarantine of COVID and monkeypox and because of everything going on, I understand that it's harder to get a job and it's very sad what this world coming to. But at the same time, it bothers me so much that this lady has to do this because if she really is in the situation that she says she is it's very sad very very sad because it's very downgrading you know very downgrading some people do it because of their addiction and I understand because I had a sister that went through a very, very bad addiction problem, was living underneath a bridge in Boston, um, was selling her body for drugs. And, um, you know, as that was going on, my parents and me would be worried that we would get a call that she was dead. My sister went into a six months to a year program. She is now a veterinarian. Uh, assistant and she is doing very well in her own apartment so it can happen I feel like stability is one of the biggest things but a lot of people do lie and say that they have kids and say that they have certain things going on and guess what happens they already get into a freaking car that is rented or they have a house and it's just really sad but you never know what someone is going through so you know I try to practice what I preach and try not to judge but you never know 